let's talk about strings in .NET. Well, we have system.string, and this is how you would normally access your strings or create your strings. You also have system.text.stringbuilder, a great way to use an optimized string if you need to do a lot of processing within your strings, a lot of changing of your strings, a lot of manipulation. It's going to have a performance boost over working with system.string. When you normally initialize your string variables, this is how you would do it. As you can see here with the hello world. And you can also see that we just have our declaration here with our variable. Just an assignment. With system.text.stringbuilder, you're going to create your string builder variable as you would with a class or structure. And then you pass your string into via the constructor. So this is going to be very interesting and I'll give you a lot of details on both. The system.string is the string class that implements the functionality of that string data type, that reference type. It's immutable, so once you have an instance, you can't modify it actually, but you'll notice that you can, it seems that you're working like a value type, what you're actually doing is destroying and creating a new object. So when you work with the methods and you assign values to your strings and reassign values, you're getting a whole new object back when you do that. The index of the string is zero based. The first character is going to be the index of zero and the last character is going to have the length minus one. So you can get that length via the function as well. Also by default a string is an empty string when you don't assign it. Double quotes, nothing in between. There are a couple of properties, a whole bunch of methods. You have chars and length. Length is going to give you that string length We'll see these as we move forward in the training. String length is very, very popular, string.length. So there are several static methods. When you work with static methods, what you do is you create your declaration and assignment. And then the next statement is s dot, and then your static methods are going to pop up if you have the code hinting. And there are some standard ones like compare, concat, copy, format, join, and more that we're going to explore. Now there are many instance methods as well. System.string dot is going to get those instance methods as you've seen throughout the training. We'll see them in depth. You can clone, you can copy to, insert, pad left, pad right. This is going to add white space or another character to the left or to the right of what you have there in your string. Inserting, copying to another string, trimming. If you have white space that you want to trim out, splitting your strings, very nice feature to uppercase to lowercase and there are many many more. We'll explore the different instance methods as well. Now strings are great when you don't often need to modify them. Like I mentioned String Builder is going to help you there. Now you have to remember that when you change a string you're actually creating copies and destroying the originals so that there is a performance hit if you're doing a lot of processing. So like I said keep that in mind. That's why we have system.text for that namespace and then string builder which is a class that has many methods and properties to work with it's mutable you can modify the strings in memory and you have methods like insert append replace remove and others we'll explore this in great detail dotnet is going to manage the size of the string you can manage it too via some methods and the memory is going to be allocated as needed it's going to shrink and grow we'll see that as well the capacity can change. This is going to lead to efficient string operations and like I said when you need to modify your strings often a particular string needs to be modified and manipulated use String Builder it's going to be faster. You will notice this over the use of your strings that it's faster. And it's important to note that most of the methods that modify an instance of this class are going to return a reference and this is to the same place in data in the memory and like I said you can modify that it grows and shrinks as you need to.